Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button now. I'm planning to do lots more um, different reviews coming very soon. But um, in today's video, I'm on a bit of a um, Bugatti run through my collection. So if you haven't seen the last couple of uh, 118 uh, full in-depth reviews. So last week I uploaded the um, Bugatti Veyron Supersport by Auto Art Signature. And then the week before that I uploaded the production car um, also by Auto Art Signature. So I thought I will um, carry on the, um, the line. So um, in today's video I'm going to be doing a full in-depth review on, um, on this one. So this one's quite a rare one now, especially in the um, in the light blue. But this one is Ottawa Signature Bugatti Veyron uh, Limited Edition Centenario. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. So um, it's a special edition one that Ottawa made in a in in four different colours, I believe. So you could pick the um, the French racing blue with chrome. They also released one with um, uh, red yellow and i think they did one in white as well all with the um the chrome finishes so it was a special run that auto art um released um only four colors um for this model car and um, i decided to go with the um, french racing blue i just think blue is bugatti's color um they're, they're famous for blue so um I, I I decided to get the um the one in the French racing blue, which I think does look really cool. Um, you do not see many of these for for sale or on on YouTube or on eBay at all. Um, so it is quite a rare color um, and quite a rare model in um, in general. But um, let's have a look at the typical auto art packaging that it comes with um, and some of the accessories and um, let's do a full in-depth review on this rare 118 model car. So pretty standard auto art signature packaging. So you've got the typical um, blue box that all auto art signature Bugattis come in with um, with the model on the side. So you've got the um, the one that I've got, and then you've got all models individually numbered, which I um, which I love. And um, the model is always housed in the polystyrene boxes, which I've unscrewed and put it on the um, on the turntable. Um, only secured in with four little screws, so um, not much to take out. And comes with um, a leaflet, which I'll show you guys, and then the certificate of authenticity. Um, this is just a typical um, auto art signature packaging that all the models come with um, and it's always good to keep the boxes and the packaging um, when you get the model as well um, just in case you ever come to um, to resell the model later on down the line you've got all the original packaging and um, accessories but um, yeah, let's get on to the model and start the full in-depth review. So like all auto art signature models it comes with the um, certificate of authenticity um, which I quite like. Um, it's quite an early model, so number 252. Um, and I always like to display these behind the model cars. And then lastly, it comes with the leaflet um, that also I always have with their signature models, which I um, I like these little touches. It just tells you about the model and about how many um, different parts it took to make. So in this model, um, you can see it's 357 different metal and plastic parts um, that um, that it took to build this model and it comes with different pictures on how the model was put together. Now this is a fully opening uh, die cast model car like all auto art signature models um, and lastly it does come with the full instruction manual on how to open things up, open the spoiler, remove the engine cover, open the doors, open the front compartment. Um, everything is fully removable um, and can open up just to show you guys the inner workings of the um, of the model like all all to art signature models but um let, let's um let's start the review so let's start at the front end of the model now first of all the chrome finish on on the model is great now um i've had this model for a number of years in the in the collection must be nearly 10 years now I've, I've had this model and the chrome has not faded um i think that was one of my main concerns was the um how the chrome will um will last over time 
but um, it hasn't really faded. It hasn't had any any issues. Um, it's it's lasted really well. It hasn't got any um, kind of dull spots or fade marks on on the um, on the chrome finish or on the blue. Now, um, I think a, a note of caution would be to definitely keep the model out of direct sunlight. Um, if it is in direct sunlight, that tends to cause most of kind of paint imperfections um, and especially on chrome it will it, it will probably cause um, fading um, so definitely keep it out of direct sunlight or direct um, spotlight if you've got it displayed in your cabinet just to preserve the paint work and the overall chrome finish so that's definitely a top tip not just for um for chrome finished models but models in um, in general definitely keep them out of um direct sunlight but yeah, it's, it's it's lasted really well. The chrome finish is really good, and I think the um, the chrome finish against the um, the light blue really works and complements the um, the whole model. Um, and I, you know, it's just um, a really good looking um, model car to have in the cabinet. As I say, the chrome pops against all the other model cars. Um, you know, Altoir haven't released a um, a chrome f finish on other models. Um, but they did it on the Persung. Um, I think that's pretty much it, which I've got both of, which they look really cool um, together in the in, in the cabinet. Um, but yeah, let's start off with the um, with the front end. Now again, like the Super Sport I did last week, um, really good um, details with them um, with Auto Art Signature. So you've got really um, realistic uh, details. So all of the um, the front uh, front grills are all done in um, in mesh, finished with um, with silver. You've got a really nice um, Bugatti emblem badge in the middle of the horseshoe grill, um, which um, which nice touch by Auto Art, which got the Bugatti um, logo on with a good nice um, red background. And then obviously you've got the iconic horseshoe grill, um, and then you've got all of the opening grills here as well, which are done really nicely. Obviously, you've got the front um, finished with um, with the French racing blue, which is a really nice um, paint, um, really well done by um, by Auto Art. And you've got the nice lights as well, which got a bit of depth to them. You can see like the daytime running lights and all the different um, bulbs at the rear as well. So I think the whole front end of the model is is really realistic, really good by um, by Auto Art. And then you've got all of the lines, which are um, which are nice as well. Now this whole front end opens up, um, which you know, which you really can't tell because all the shut lines are quite neat and quite tidy. Um, but I'll open up all of the compartments um, later on in the in the video, um, and I'll show you guys all of the interior detail as well. Because um, as you guys know, Auto Art Signature have really good levels of detail once you start to open up different compartments on on the model. But um, let's come around the side. Now you've got really good lines coming around the model. Um, so, you know, for example, you've got all of these chrome lines around the driver and passenger side that come all the way through over the doors, over the engine cover and around the rear end of the model, which is a nice touch. Um, but let's have a look at the side end. Again, all the, the chrome does work against the blue. I think it's definitely kind of the best color combo to get in, 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 in my eyes. Obviously, you've got their iconic wheels that are on the special series. Um, again, these wheels aren't on the Super Sport or the production car, and they're only on the, um, the, the special editions of the Veyron. Now, again, because of their multi uh, multi spokes, you can't see much of the caliper or the disc detail. But the calipers are finished in black with the Bugatti logo running across them. Um, you know, good. Good details there with the um, enormous discs that cover the whole wheel. You've also got the EB badge in the um, in the center caps as well, which is a nice touch. And then you've got obviously these kind of iconic wheels with all of the um, different designs around the edges, which is just an overall cool design. Don't see them very often. Um, and yeah, the, I think the whole wheels are um, are really cool by by Auto Art. You've got the carbon fiber finish on the on the lower lower end or on the on the lower skirts here which is a nice touch again by um by auto art on the side of the model you have also got it finished in the silver mesh as well for the air intakes for the engine 
and then you've got the chrome finish doors which is um which again really cool by um by auto art and then you've got all of the little touches here as well on the um, on on the side mirrors which is a nice touch you can see the indicator lights as well coming around again on the side you've got the fuel filler cap with the eb badge bossed in and all the rivets um, around the badge which is a nice touch again i'll show you guys the interior detail um, in a moment after we've done the exterior but again really good levels of detail inside the model as well coming around the rear of the model again you've got the same wheel designs as the front you've got the calipers in a different position so they're kind of at the um, two o'clock mark um, again finished in black with the bugatti logo on them and then again you've got enormous discs at the rear as well and and the width of the tires are enormous like like the real car really wide tires on on front end and and the rear as well so um again really nice touches by um by auto art to make it as realistic as possible um and also just um just to mention coming around here as well you've got the silver finishes on the air intakes at the top for the engine bay so on the left and on the right hand side which ties it in nicely with the um with the side intakes and all of the intakes at the front which is a cool touch again by um by auto art and then coming around the rear end of the model again really nice levels of detail here definitely my favorite uh angle for the veyrons so you can see the exposed engine detail um again finished with the all of the light blue um paint which is really nice you can see quite you can see a decent amount of um detail there with the engine cover on so you can see the um well some of the w16 engine um, and again you've got the air intakes and the radiators on the side you've got the fully um opening rear spoiler which is active as well because it tilts up so you can display in the um in in, in the braking um mode if you if you so wish and then you've got the eb badge at the rear um which again is a really nice it's a sticker but it's a really nice sticker it's got some some depth to the um to the sticker now again a note of caution if you're looking to um to collect a, an auto art signature in your collection these tend to lift over time the rear badges so just um just be careful just make sure that um, the one that you're going to buy has got that on there or it hasn't started to lift or peel off but that tends to be a common issue with these things over time which is understandable um, but again you've got the um, the rear brake lights um, just above the um, the emblem and then you've got the side lights as well which is really nice and then obviously you've got your iconic massive quad exhaust pipe which you guys can just about see has been separated so you've got two exhausts in that as well you've got a really nice diffuser um, quite aggressive with all the carbon fiber finishes around the edges then obviously you've got the, um, the the silver meshes on the rear as well, which ties it in nicely with all of the other meshes throughout the whole model car. Then you've got this um, this number plate as well. I'm not quite sure what this means or what it is. Um, be quite keen to to know. So if you do, leave a um, leave a comment and let me know if if, that, if that's someone's signature or um, if if that's someone someone famous that I that I should know about be quite keen to um to know but um, yeah the rear end of the model is um is really good and obviously you've got the chrome lines coming all the way down to the rear end of the model so coming round passenger side now again exactly the same as the driver side you've got all of the nice touches you've got um again carbon fiber lower skirts and again finished in all of the light blue and chrome details so um, that is the exterior of the model. Let's have a look at the interior and I'll show you guys some of the um, phenomenal details that AutoArt do underneath the, um, underneath the skin. So I've removed um, some of the compartments that are detachable for the model just to have a closer look inside. Now the front end of the model doesn't open up um, that much so I'm not sure how much detail you, you can see but it, um, in essence, it's, it's just the um, the front boot, so there's not a lot of detail there, but um, it, it is carpeted 
it is finished you know as as nice as it as it can be um, and the struts are finished quite nicely as well so they look quite realistic um, and they do feel quite nice to open and close you don't feel like you're you're going to break the model or take the um the, you know the front end too far um, but again it's 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 finished you know nice enough for for the model and what you can see auto i have done a um, a good job with um, with all the nice touches there as well and also fits quite neatly around the um the horseshoe grill at the front um and also got very minimal shut lines um as well so once you've closed it down it's got very flush finishes all around the um the front end around the horseshoe and around all of the um, the side fenders as well so I've got the driver's side door open just to show you guys some of this phenomenal detail for the interior that all to all always do. Now the doors are very nicely done. They're very easy to open and um, they've got a really good um, feel to them as well with a bit of weight as well. So now the interior on this model is, is really nicely done here by all sorts. So let's have a closer look. So you've got really nice levels of finishing and um, I'll just bring my light closer in just so you can have a better look so hopefully you guys can just about see some some of the detail here so obviously you've got um, full carpeted footwells for both driver and passenger you've got the um, the centenaria um, on the um, on the door seal as well 2009 Villa de Essa um, with the Bugatti logo uh, as well which is a again really nice touch both driver and passenger side as I say, you've got full carpeted interior, all of the nice details as well. Really good levels of detail on the seats. You've got the um, signatures on the center dash as well on both driver and passenger side. And again, you've got details on the steering wheel, on the center columns, center dashes, all very, very realistic. And even the door cards as well are finished to a really, really high level of detail there as well. So all to really haven't left any stone unturned with the interior. Um, it is a really, really nice um, you know, job that, that they've done. And I'll show you guys the passenger side um, as well. Um, so let's close off the, the driver's side door. And again, really nice levels of, um, of detail and the door just, just feels really weighty. So you don't feel like you're taking it too far and it holds position wherever you leave it which is a really nice touch as well and then it slots back in quite nicely I believe it's um, a good magnetic um, kind of seal on the door as well so all very neat around the edges which is really nice by auto up and then coming around the rear end of the model now I've removed the whole um, engine cover which I've put here comes off in one whole piece as I'm sure you guys um, guys know, which is nice. So, and then it kind of just shows you all of the other detail there that the engine cover covers up. So you've got these magnetic holders on, on either side of the model. You've got three. Um, so you've got one here, one there, one there that just um, lock in the engine cover. So it gives it a nice kind of good grip. And you can see all of that engine detail there. So obviously you've got a W16 quad turbocharged ginormous engine there that Bugatti have in their Veyrons. And you can see other reservoirs, um, other liquids as well that the um, that that the engine has. And you can see kind of the mechanisms for the spoiler as well. So you've got the radiator for the spoiler at the rear. And then you've got all of the other um, kind of mechanisms, holders, wires. Um, filters that you can all see so auto i have done a really good job with the um with the engine bay they've kind of shown you as much as the real car has um, and it, you know and, and i know the engine bay is buried deep inside the um the actual car but what you can see is a really really good level of um of detail there and they've left everything exposed so nothing is is kind of hidden away or they haven't or, or they haven't missed anything which I really like. I like the exposed screws and the exposed mechanisms that they've that they've left behind. Um, just a really, really good job that they've done. And also you've got the button underneath the model that releases the rear spoiler. And you can display the model with the spoiler up. And I say it tilts as well to reflect the braking, um, if you so wish. I always display it with the spoiler down 
Um, but yeah, the, the, the whole rear spoiler is, is, is active. And then, then coming round the, um, the passenger side, so you can just open up the door just exactly using the handles as it is. Like that, and you've got the plaque again on the um, on the footwell with the carpeted finishes as well on the um, on the passenger side with good levels of detail on the seats, and it's just a really nice um, interior that Autoart have done. They've really uh, kind of left nothing um, out on on this model car. It's definitely one of the favourites in the Bugatti lineup in the um, in the collection. And again, exactly the same as the driver's side slots back in really nicely. Um, and again, all very neat and tidy. So let's put the engine cover back on and do a quick summary of the model. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review of the um, Bugatti Veyron by Auto Art Signature. Now again, it's quite a rare one out there. So um, I hope you guys um, found it useful. Or if you're looking to add one to your collection now definitely in my eyes it's one of the go-to ones to get if you're looking to add one into your collection i'll definitely rate this model you know it's a really high eight and a half nine out of ten auto i've done a really good job on on pretty much all their bugatti veyrons but this one again is just extra special just because of the um, external finishes in chrome and in light blue which just makes it a, a, you know a bit more of a special model to collect in the Bugatti collection and if you're a Bugatti enthusiast like me I think it's definitely a, a must-have in the in the collection so as I say I hope you guys enjoyed the review found it useful um, as I say please leave the, your um, your comments below and um, please subscribe for more reviews and more comparison videos to come got lots more Bugattis on pre-order so I'm just waiting for them to come through but um, in the meantime, as I say, please check out the other videos on the channel, um, the 118 reviews, the 143 reviews, and I'll see you guys very soon for more videos to come. Take care.